Today is Tuesday, October the 4th, 2016, and I have some very interesting video from Mr. Bill Clinton. And this video comes from a campaign rally that he did in Flint, Michigan. I assume it was yesterday on Monday, October the 3rd, 2016. And he's talking about Obamacare. Now, this video is interesting because of the simple fact that you got Hillary Clinton basically running as Obama's third term and piggybacking on what uh, a lot of what Obama says. And you got Obama being out there campaigning for her. same thing with Joe Biden. They're both working very hard to try and get her into the presidency. But then you got Bill Clinton out here. I don't know what he's doing. Is he trying to campaign for the Republicans? I'm not sure what's going on because he had this rally where he slams Obamacare, which is like the core, you know, uh, thing to Obama's legacy that he wants to preserve. So what I want to do right now is go ahead and roll that video for you. So you can see exactly what he said in full context. So you won't just take it from me. Take it straight from the horse's mouth. So go ahead and roll it. We got to figure out what to do now on health care. Her opponent said, oh, just repeal it all. The market will take care of it. That didn't work out very well for us, did it? We wound up with the most expensive system in the world, and we insured the smallest percentage of people. On the other hand, the current system works fine if you're eligible for Medicaid, if you're a lower income working person, if you're already on Medicare, or if you get enough subsidies on a modest income that you can afford your health care. But the people that are getting killed in this deal are small business people and individuals who make just a little too much to get any of these subsidies. Why? because they're not organized, they don't have any bargaining power with insurance companies, and they're getting whacked. So you've got this crazy system where all of a sudden 25 million more people have health care, and then the people are out there busting it sometimes 60 hours a week, wind up with their premiums doubled and their coverage cut in half. It's the craziest thing in the world. So here's the simplest thing. You raise your hand so you think about it. Here's the simplest thing. Figure out an affordable rate and let people use that, something that won't undermine your quality of life, won't interfere with your ability to make expenses, won't interfere with your ability to save money for your kids' college education, and let people buy in to Medicare or Medicaid. Okay, so you see what's going on there. You see that he's basically slamming Obamacare, saying a lot of the same things that us on the right say. Anybody with a brain, really, it's not, it's not even really a left or right issue. It's more of just, can you see what's going on here? It's very simple. Obamacare is not really working. I mean, if you're low income, you don't have any money, then you feel like it's good because you're getting something for nothing. But those of us that work hard and are really, you know, working our fingers to the bone to try and eke out a living and do a little bit better than just being indigent, we're getting slammed with crazy premiums, rate hikes and everything else. And the whole lie about, well, you can keep your doctor if you like it, etc. That whole thing has been debunked several times over, even though Mr. Obama has said it over and over and over and over again in the press, in the media. Right now, we're feeling the effects of his lies and of being bamboozled by the whole Obamacare scandal. And even Bill Clinton can see it. Now, I don't know who's informing Bill Clinton on how to campaign because, <laughs> I mean, he is contradicting all of what Obama is doing to help Hillary Clinton. And she needs all the help she can get, really, because she has a lot of problems with the health issues, you know, the Benghazi situation, the emails, all the corruption with the Clinton Crime Foundation, the whole 20 percent of United States uranium supply been given to Russia through the Uranium One deal that came through the Clinton Crime Foundation. All of that stuff was going on. And then you got Bill Clinton out here basically supporting us on the right and saying that Obamacare is not a good thing, right? So I don't know what's going on with Bill Clinton, man. He may be having some kind of dementia or something like that. The same kind of thing as his wife. They both may be having some late in life diseases that's affecting their ability to make sound judgment. But I'm not going to complain, really. I think that he's doing a great job for us on the right. I think he's making our job a lot more easy because what better way than to discredit somebody than have their own husband come out and speak against them who was a president and you're trying to use Bill Clinton, some kind of pillar of righteousness, you know, the, the gold standard, the standard bearer, you're trying to use him to be that. But then he comes out and speaks out against your man who's in office right now, who's campaigning for you, you know, 
and 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 then Obama had the nerve to say, well, if you don't vote for Hillary Clinton, it'd be against my legacy. Well, your man, your man, Bill Clinton, came out and said that Obamacare is a mess, essentially. So I don't get it. So, Mr. Obama, you got to talk to your man because you're going out here and talking to us in the black community and saying that if we don't vote for Hillary, it'd be against your legacy. But isn't a big part of your legacy, the whole Obamacare situation? Aren't you the one that says it's a big success? So why is your man over here talking against it? Isn't he ruining your legacy? You know, and he has a very high profile. It's one thing just to have just an average Joe not go to the voting booth and vote for you. It's a whole different ball of wax when your man who used to be the president who has a very high profile goes out on the campaign trail and speaks out against your program, Obamacare, right? I mean, it has your name. It's Obamacare. So that's pretty much all I got to say about it. I mean, thank you, Bill Clinton, for campaigning for us. Just because you say a few good things, like when you went against Black Lives Matter at that campaign rally in Philly. I like protesters. But the ones that won't let you answer are afraid of the truth. That's a simple rule. Be afraid. Be very, very afraid. I don't know how you would characterize the gang leaders who got 13-year-old kids hopped up on crack and sent them out onto the street to murder other African-American children. Maybe you thought they were good citizens. She didn't. She didn't. You are defending the people who kill the lives you say matter. Tell the truth. Just because you had a few good things you say here and there does not mean that you are a virtuous person. Far from it. You got a lot of questions you need to answer about your past. Just like my man who says that he's your son, which is a whole different video I'll get to. And the numerous affairs, the accusations of rape and everything else. You need to atone for that. In closing, I say... I agree with you here that Obamacare is a mess, but that does not mean I support you in your daily life and the things that you have done throughout your life. So what do you think? Do you think that Bill Clinton is on the on the money here, that Obamacare is a mess? You know, it benefits those that are on the bottom that don't really contribute to society in a really meaningful way. But those of us that are really trying just to grind and eke out a good living, for us and our families, it's really hurting us because the reality is that it puts the burden of supporting the people that are not able to support themselves on us, you know, and that's an unfair thing because we're trying to work hard to support ourselves. We're working our fingers to the bone to support ourselves. So it's unfair to require us to take care of other people that we don't even know. Or am I incorrect here? Is Bill Clinton somehow wrong? Now, if you think that Bill Clinton is wrong, are you a leftist? And now if you're a leftist, you got a lot of questions you need to answer here. If Bill Clinton is wrong, then so was Obama. So did you vote for Obama? Do you regret it? Do you have buyer's remorse? Now, Hillary Clinton is saying that she wants to basically be Obama's third term. Do you believe her? If you're a leftist and you don't believe her or Obama or Bill, then who are you going to vote for? Are you going to cop out and vote for Jill Stein or Gary Johnson, both of whom have no chance of winning, both of whom are not very good candidates anyway, even if they were to be in the Republican Party or Democrat Party having a real chance at winning? You tell me. Whatever your comments are, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.